Hey guys, what's up? Z here with Giz China, and I have yet another Redmi phone in my hands today to test. This phone inherits traits from its brothers, the Redmi 4 Prime and the Redmi 4A, and it really has a lot in common with both phones that I have tested before, so I'm pretty sure I know what to expect, and let's see if I'm correct. In terms of build, the phone is very close to the Redmi 4 Prime, the only visible difference is the placement of the camera. The metal body feels good to the touch and it's not too slippery either. It's very easy to use in just one hand and easy to hold as well, slightly easier to hold than even the Redmi 4 Prime. I do have a complaint though, and there is still a black bezel around the screen which is ugly, but if you get the black version it should be almost invisible. Other than that, I'm overall very satisfied with the build on this phone. The display here is like the Redmi 4A's, a 720p screen that is adequate in pretty much every respect but will not blow your socks off. It looks fine, colors are fine, contrast is fine, and you can adjust some of the display settings with MIUI as well, if you so desire. The max brightness is about 400 nits which is also fine, <laughs> but not that great either. I do have one complaint and that is no Gorilla Glass on this phone. The audio unlike the display has some parts that are below average. The volume is above average, is easy to hear in a lot of situations, but the sound quality is below average. There is no bass, the mids and highs are a little bit unclear, at least compared to better phones. Looks like that gunboat is aiming right at us. That would be ridiculous. Destroying the sniper tower would provide no strategic advantage. I stand corrected, Johnson. It is super fun to blow something up that provides no strategic advantage. All right, let's head home, boys. The battery life here surprised me. This is becoming common with Redmi phones. Nice surprises, that is. I was expecting battery life closer to a Redmi Note 3 Pro instead of a Redmi 4 Prime, but instead we get 8 hours of intense screen on time, over a 16 hour day with 20% left, and that is really crazy. This was mostly YouTube and taking photos, and also some games as well. I do not think anyone will be disappointed with this phone unless they are moving from the Redmi 4 Prime, <clears throat> my sister who broke her Redmi 4 Prime. Even then, it is more than good enough for even the heaviest users for daily use. MIUI here is well implemented. It's smooth, it's fast, and I did not see any bugs. The processor is quite capable, it can launch apps decently fast, more than fast enough for regular use. But it is still slower than mid-range MediaTek processors. Moving on to gaming, I was able to play the most intense games. The only problem is that I did see some starters and slowdowns when gaming, but it's still very playable. I played some stuff like Asphalt and Modern Combat, and as you can see, it's still good. Finally, the fingerprint sensor here, it does quite well. It's accurate, but it's not as fast as more expensive phones. In terms of connectivity, the phone does do decently well in terms of LTE speeds. And with my carrier in Canada, I was able to get 3G on this phone as well, which is nice. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth work as well, and GPS is accurate also. The camera here is nothing to write home about in the grand scheme of things, but when you consider the price, the camera does decently well for itself. It matches and maybe even beats the Redmi 4A's camera. This could be my placebo or circumstance, I am willing to admit that. The detail is slightly worse than what you find on the Redmi 4 Prime, but it's still fine and the colors are quite saturated as well. It does less well for itself in low light, lots of noise and grain, the front facing camera is okay, it can take selfies that are not garbage, but if you go into low light then they quickly become garbage. The video camera takes adequate 1080p video with enough detail, not much else to talk about here. So at the end of this mostly unsurprising review, the Fredmi 4X is a good phone with better battery life than I expected. This is a great option to you guys who don't want to spend that much on the Redmi 4 Prime, but don't want to buy a super entry level Xiaomi Redmi phone either, and it does fill the spot well. However, do note that there is also a Redmi 4, no X, that uses the Snapdragon 430 processor, and for all intents and purposes, it's the same as this one. So if you can find that one cheaper than this, I don't see any reason to get this one. But if you can't, then this is a great budget option. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.